What's up guys, Kevin here, back again with another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a very, very highly anticipated uh, collaboration between Post Archive Faction and On Running. They originally previewed their uh, On Running collaboration, I believe it was last year. Uh, they're about to drop, I think tomorrow, um, on Pass website as well as On Running and a few other retailers. I think Packer Shoes is also having a drop. Uh, so I'm trying to get this release out. A few retailers accidentally released them early. Uh, I'm not gonna mention which ones, but one that I will mention that I missed out on happened like three weeks ago on Nordstrom. Uh, they randomly dropped and those sizes were all scooped up. Uh, but today I have a review on the Cloud Monster 2 in the, I believe it's like a lime or like a light gray color. I'm not drinking coffee right now, I'm drinking orange juice because it's in the afternoon. I just got home from work and I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible so you guys could get a sense of the colors and how the shoe looks and all that and my hair is all fucked up. So just quickly talking about the box, it comes in a post archive faction white box, uh, Cloud Monster 2, PATH, um, this is the chalk and moon, moon dust color. So chalk is that sort of off white with the green tint and moon dust feels like it's a very just like light, light, light gray, almost marble gray. Um, inside is just the same thing. Very, very minimal packaging. The wrapping paper is just of a yellow. There's no extra laces, only the laces that are laced up. So if you guys have been longtime viewers, uh, you guys know that I'm typically a size eight to an eight and a half. Uh, the store that I got this at only had a size nine left uh, for the chalk colorway. I believe the black colorway, they had like a nine and a half and a 10, but I, th there was no way in hell that I was gonna ever be able to fit those. A nine I can kind of do depending on the shoe model. Um, and yeah, just straight off the bat, the Cloud Monster 2 fits a little bit big. I'm not sure if you guys can sort of tell, but it's very wide foot friendly. Uh, so if you are a wider foot, I would say go true to size. Uh, if you have more narrowish feet, I even recommend going down half a size in my opinion, uh, cause this size nine is kind of big on me in my opinion, even with an extra insole in it, which is what I'm probably gonna do if I luck out and I don't, and I'm not able to grab like any other pairs, um, but yeah. Here is the shoe. So starting with the upper, I believe this is all of like an engineered mesh that they developed with on themselves. So Swiss engineering in the back with a little sort of tab right there on branding at the toe and the heel area. Uh, this features their cloud tech. Uh, from what I hear from people uh, who've had the Clown Monster one is that they essentially just increased the stack height from a few millimeters, like I'll put it up here, the tech specs, um, but purely aesthetically, I think they just changed some of the things in the upper, which I think look really, really nice. That chalk is all around the tongue with that very light gray with the seams taped. Uh, it has an asymmetrical tongue, so it should fit really, really nice on both, uh, both feet. Same sort of engineered mesh detail. Let me see if I can give you guys a close up. You guys can kind of see there's a much finer mesh here and a little bit more breathable around here. And that goes around the side of the shoe as well. This is all of like, sort of like a very light uh, plastic. It's a very soft touch plastic. Has a little breathable chalk uh, area right there. Again, that same sort of wide uh, mesh and it transitions into a much finer mesh here. The insole is just of a chalk on Cloud Monster, same sort of off-white uh, greenish color. And yeah, it's a fairly simple shoe, very, very minimalist. Uh, like something that I did want to point out is that this does have a nylon plate in the middle, so you should be able to feel it. In my opinion, like I feel it pretty abruptly. It goes from all the way back here, all the way up until like maybe around this uh, little side area. It's like right around here, it sort of ends. Um, 
I'm an eight to an eight and a half. My toe goes like all the way up to here for a nine and it's pretty roomy in my opinion. So if I pick this up again, I definitely would go uh, my true to size, which I'll probably grab an eight in this. For those of you who have narrow feet, I would highly recommend maybe sizing down a half if you can, or go in store, try on a Cloud Monster 2, um, and I think the fit of it should be pretty similar. The cushion on the bottom, it is a dual density foam, so there's two different densities, and it's honestly really, really comfortable. This is my first pair of Ons, and you know, it's just, honestly, it really does feel like clouds on your feet, especially with this sort of like circular uh, cloud tech. I know that they have another version of cloud tech where it's sort of slanted a little bit. This is more of a comfort runner than the speed trainers that they have. Helion right there, Helion branding. So yeah, overall, pretty good uh, durability in my opinion. It's uh, like weather resistant. And if I remember correctly, the Cloud Runner or the Cloud Monster one, this had the exposed nylon uh, shank, but now they filled it in with foam. It is honestly a very, very soft and comfortable foam. This sort of gives me, this release sort of gives me the same vibe as the Kiko Asics Gel Burrs one. It sort of has that same sort of like DNA in my opinion. They're just missing that like lime color, which I think they showed off an off-white color in, uh, their second release. They already teased the second release before the release of the first one. Um, they did, they're doing a burgundy and a black, like more slim down model. And then they're also doing like a yellow off-white of the Cloud Monster 2. Let me go pull out uh, my Kikos. Here are uh, my Beat Kiko Gel Burrs uh, 1. And you guys can kind of see what I'm saying, right? Where it's like same, same, but different. They have the same sort of vibe, the same sort of like energy, that sort of like coolness to it, except uh, the Gel Burrs one is a little bit more low profile. It's a little bit more like streamlined in my opinion. Uh, while the Cloud Monster is like chunky, it's aggressive, seamless basically, um, very, very minimal. While this one is almost like a maximal version of this and this is like the minimal version. I don't know, like let me know in the comments if you think I'm crazy, but to me, I, like, I was like, yo, this is like the Kiko Gelbers 1 2.0, even though there is a Gelbers 2. But yeah, like, let me know what you guys think of this release. Are you guys planning on picking it up? Uh, I believe retail is 240 uh, USD. I'm not sure about any of the other countries. I think probably like 170 British pounds, maybe around 200 euros. I don't know exactly how much it is in Korean won either, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, like let me know if you want um, a review of the black pair as well. Uh, that one, we'll see if I end up picking it up or if I'm able to pick it up. Um, I can just do like a quick like add on, like quick short three minute video doing a quick comparison of the black and the chalk color. Uh, just so if you want to see visually like sort of. Yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and uh, like good luck on the release.